Now to a grim reality that the new president will face right away. His first foreign policy challenge is likely to be Syria. Tonight, the Syrian dictatorship and its Russian allies say they have broken the rebellion in the country's largest city, Aleppo. Rebels are evacuating now after years of siege, starvation, and devastating airstrikes. Last night, thousands protested at the Russian consulate in Istanbul, Turkey, demanding an end to the bloodbath. Aleppo once held two million residents and treasures of early civilization, but there's nothing like civilization there today. Deborah Patter reports. The situation today was described by the United Nations as a complete meltdown of humanity. The UN said it had evidence that pro-government militias massacred 82 civilians, some in their homes, others as they tried to run away. 11 women and 13 children were among them. Eyewitnesses described streets lined with bodies, people too scared to collect their loved ones for fear of being shot. Activist Abdul Hafi Al Hamdo is in eastern Aleppo. That we are facing one of the most difficult or the most serious or the most horrible massacre that is in that new history. For the injured, there is no medical help. This man desperately tries to put out the flames that have engulfed his body. And drenched in misery, civilians make a last attempt to get out. These children are utterly defenseless. All they have is each other for protection. The Syrian military has now taken back Aleppo, and countless civilians have paid for this with their lives. In a conflict that already has a long list of atrocities committed against civilians, Scott, the past 48 hours have been even worse. However, the Russians and the Syrians have denied any wrongdoing, saying now that Aleppo is fully under their control, all military operations have stopped. Deborah Pata in Beirut tonight. Deborah, thank you.